Richard, this is one beautiful little airplane you got here. What's this thing called? This is called a Jenny. Um, it's a two-third scale uh, JN4D Jenny. Now, did you uh, build this thing from a set of plans, or how did you? It's plans built by Dennis Wiley. Dennis Wiley uh, designed it, the plans, and you buy them from him, and just go ahead and buy the parts from Builder. Now, how long did it take you to build it then? Uh, it took me 20 months and exactly 1,375 hours. No minutes? No minutes. <laughs> Now, I had to log all that for the FAA, you know, document it, and I did. So. Now, as far as the uh, the stuff coming out of uh, Dennis, uh, was there, were the plans complete? Uh, uh, very good plans, yeah. Three sets of plans, and the book was excellent. Plus, Dennis's help was very helpful. You could call him any time, and you had a problem, and Dennis would be right there, call you back, and work out something with you, you know. So. Now, uh, where did you build it? I built it in uh, a, a little airstrip called Clarion Field, just uh, in Mendota, Illinois there. Now, what kind of facilities would, uh, would you need in order to, to build something like this? Uh, a basic garage would do just fine. You know, I happen to have a little hangar there, a 30 by 40 hangar, and that worked out good. So. Now, were there any special tools that you had to buy in order to finish it off? Uh, no special tools, nothing. Not on this airplane. Now, um, how about, uh, is there any welding involved in yes, it? Yes, sir. The, the, the fuselage is all 4130 steel tubing gas welded, and uh, the... Uh, Fabric is is all poly polyfiber fabric on here. What type of construction are you using in the wings? Uh, there are aluminum tubes with uh, Easy Rider ribs. Those are stamped ribs. On. Now you mentioned it, a thousand hours. Now is this a thousand hours that you built by yourself, or do you have somebody helping you? No, it was myself. Thousand three hundred seventy-five hours myself. I had people help me carry the wing in and out after after I painted it, of course, you know, but. Now, uh, when I was talking to uh, Dennis, uh, he was originally powering it with a 503 Rotax, and then he went up to a Metro Geo engine. What are you powering this with? This is an HKS 700E. Okay. Now, what kind of performance are you getting out of the uh, HKS? It's very good. Uh, uh, it's got plenty of power. The little airplane is a homesick angel, believe it or not, with that engine in it. it is... What kind of climb rate would you have on it? Uh, the climb rate's right around 500 feet a minute on it. So. The cruise speed comes in at? At 60 to 65. At 5,000 RPM. So. And what would your landing speed for approach for your landing? Uh, I'd like to come in at 50, and it, it'll stall at 36 miles an hour. So. And what type of control system is used on the airplane? It's just, just conventional stick. You know, I got dual controls on it. So. Now, um, when the aircraft uh, uh, is built and flying, how did you get this finish on it? I mean, this is one of the. the, the uh, uh, there's it's 14 coats on here, believe it or not, but it's... Sanding it, between each coat? Uh, no, I only had to sand between the silver. You know, I put the silver on, there's six coats of silver. They call them cross coats, but and then two coats of white, and then the yellow on top of that, and then buffed it out. So it's it's polytone paint. Well, what gave you the idea to, to build an airplane like this? I always wanted an open cockpit, and I can't afford a steerman, so <laughs> I built this one uh, pretty reasonable, and it worked. Are you a conventional pilot? Uh, I flew commercially all my life, so I got almost 15,000 hours in the sky, about 160 hours short of 15,000 hours. Is this the first airplane that you actually had to build right basically? Yeah, from scratch, yeah. I've, I've re repaired a few and built a few, uh, you know, that were wrecked and that, but this one here is from, from scratch, yeah. So what kind of duration would you have with the fuel that you have on board? Uh, there's 10 gallons of fuel, so and it only burns two and a half gallons an hour, so basically four hours. And uh, about 180 miles is a good, good figure on it. So. How many hours have you got on it uh, since you finished it? Uh, there's 47.2 hours on it now. So. If somebody uh, wanted to talk to you, uh, have you got an email address or something where yes, you can get a hold of you? Yes, it's jtailwheel at aol.com. Okay. Thank you very much for your time then. Okay, thank you. Oh.